We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today and staying warm. So for all your tea sipping needs, don't forget to go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the videos. All right, you guys, I hope you guys are surviving this polar vortex. When I tell you it has been freezing throughout the Midwest, I've been stuck in the house. The kids have been here. A lot of their friends have been here because the parents still have to work. So I've had a house full of kids. So I've not been able to shoot on a consistent basis because there's literally been people in every room of this house, okay? But today I was like, you know what? Today I got time because all y'all got to go. Today I got time, miss. Today I got time, miss. You lucky on that day I was acting cool, cuz. So everybody's gone, it's just me. I sent the kids out, sent their friends out. So it's time to get this damn discussion popping. It's time to spill this damn tea, okay? So to all my Midwesterners, I hope you guys have been staying warm. We've been dealing with negative 29 degree weather, okay? Can you believe that shit? So anyways, I wanted to come on here and talk about the whole Killer Mike and DJ Envy situation. If you guys don't know, that they were both trending all over social media today because Killer Mike went on to The Breakfast Club to promote his new show called Trigger Warning, which is a show that's on Netflix. Um, you know, there's been a few episodes that I like. There's other episodes I wasn't too fond of. But for the main thing, Killer Mike is doing his thing, okay? So basically what happened is that him and DJ Envy got into a really heated debate about private school or public school. And DJ Envy feels like because he has the money, him and his wife, you know, have the right to put their kids in private school. There's better opportunities. They're learning more. Whereas Killer Mike feels like, you know what? Public schools are good, but they're underfunded and that we need to show support to public schools. And you know, a lot of these private schools, they mainly cater to white children. There's a lot of racism in private schools. So their debate got really, really heated. And so everybody and their mama had an opinion on Twitter this morning. I want you guys to go ahead and listen to their debate. Go ahead and check this out. And I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. As black parent is, who's living in Sumter, Who's living in Atlanta? I don't know, my or kids Gwinnett. been called niggas. It's been hostile. It's been I didn't say call, being area. called it's niggas when your dad got a Ferrari just don't hurt as much. It's been, it's been, it's you know what I'm saying? Like, like, no, 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 no. I'm very serious. No, for them, I'm just a no, nigga. No, because me, you always getting a good for argument. Them, for but them, nigga, I'm you a, rich I'm a and you cannot take that away. And, and my question becomes this With all the great education you got, you turned out to be a DJ and a real estate investor. You didn't have an to go to college. Not a DJ, an entrepreneur, bro. Entrepreneur, I'm not dissing DJs. Okay, nigga. I'm a part what of hip hop. I'm an MC. I'm just a rapper. I can call myself an entrepreneur too, and I am. Mm -hmm. Right? We both got millions of dollars of property. We both do cool shit. Mm -hmm. But we make our money single and dancing. That's what we make our money doing. So your investment comes from your talent, what you were interested in, what you chose to pursue. Black people, your children are going to have pursuits. So my, my question just becomes. What are we allowing public schools to be? Now that we've had our, our mandatory mm -hmm. light skin dog skin argument, <laughs> what what is what are we going? Because you still pay taxes publicly. What are mm -hmm. we going to do to ensure the children of the working class get what our children have? The confidence that they need to be successful. See, and that it, ain't it, taught it, in school. And see, this, see, this is the thing. If you got the right kind of teacher. Yeah, if you got the right kind of teacher. But most of that yeah. pride and that confidence is instilled. See, home. see, what what you said is is they teach aviation, they teach you know mechanics, they teach. Uh, nursing, and they teach great jobs. But in these other schools, they teach you how to be billionaires. And there's a big difference, and there's a big line. And yes, how many need, of those kids need, are going to go on we to need be mechanics, become millionaires? And billionaires, a lot of them. Let me tell but those it, people but it's something. A difference, but it's a difference out there in the real world with the fantasy mechanics, that they're ever going to get to where this much gold and, and that most people are not going to be millionaires. They're learning how to be. Oh, you can't talk over each other. Yeah, 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 most people. Yeah, that's you being rude to a guest, envy. Yes, <laughs> most people are not going to be millionaires. Don't put words in my mouth. I don't put words in yours. Well, and that's thing. what I'm saying. Hold Be on. So when it comes to... No, I'm not mad. I let you speak. I let you give your spiel. Me but and when, Envy but always had these arguments. I've been to public school. I've been to certain states. But for me, learning to do certain things is learning way different. My kids go to private school, right? My son has his own business, has started his own thing, things that he learned that I didn't learn before. You know why? Because those opportunities were given to him. Because, I think they learned a lot of that from you, though. Because, no, yeah, no, you they learned a lot, they learned they learned no, more of that from you. Yeah, than they no, 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 you it's, right. not, it's not only me, but they have Everybody that, get no, rich, see it's children in private school. Me. They it's have all business work out. classes where they learn real estate in her school. 
I didn't never learn real estate. You know what she? You know what she gets example from her father. But she get it from her father. They teach it in school. Envy. I'm not saying. Envy. I'm not saying they don't. Yes, yes, I push my kids. But they speaking for the working class African American. That child is in an environment that is hostile to them. Teach you, and you never thought. God damn, I could start my own Montessori Montessori school, where it's eight kids in the whole school. And I'm not saying this from because I heard this shit in some goddamn chump ass rhyme from a chump ass rapper. I own <laughs> a third of a block Kanye. in Atlanta. And I, was I hold the second block next to me was bought by five white people who didn't even know each other. Mm. And they started a monastery school within three months. Nigga, do something. Mm. I used to wonder to myself, man, why is Dick Gregory so mad? Because Nick, he cussed me and tip out the first time we met him. He said, man, what y'all niggas gonna do? March, the same shit we've been doing 50 years? Nigga, they gonna tell you to march. You got to be off the streets by 7 o'clock. If you ain't out, gonna keep. Yeah, the school seem better because you buying into that. Why are we not starting our own academies and supporting them? Why are we not supporting historically black colleges and universities? That's where our heroes went. That's where they came from. Dr. King went to Booker T. Washington. You gonna show me a nigga smarter than him? Mm. Honey. All right. So you guys just heard that back and forth. And I really enjoyed the discussion. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to shame DJ Envy. If he has the money and he wants to put his kids in private school, he has every right to do so. A lot of people put their kids in private school, especially if they're public figures. But I definitely understand where Killer Mike is coming from 100%. And the reason why these public schools, in my personal opinion, are failing is because nobody's holding them to task. We're just saying, oh, well, the public schools are a failure. It is what it is. It is as long as it's not my kid being affected who cares you know what i'm saying that's those kids in the hood that's those kids you know in the ghetto people just wash their hands of public school and they'll move their kids to a private school or try and get their kids in a school in a better neighborhood and my thing is i think that we do need to start holding public schools to task because at the end of the day like killer mike said we're all taxpayers we're all taxpayers and our tax money goes to fund these public schools. So if we have a school in our community that's lacking resources, I'm talking about basic resources. You have some schools out here. They don't even have, you know, enough computers, enough books. They have books from like, you know, last decade. You have a lot of really struggling public schools. And I think at that point in time, when we see schools like that, we have to hold everyone to task, not just the teachers, not just the principal, but the mayor and the community as well. You know what I'm saying? We have to do more to keep our public schools open. So many public schools are not being closed throughout cities like Chicago and throughout the inner city. They're being closed because they don't care about educating those kids. I don't think that private school is necessarily better. It's just the fact that they're better funded because the parents are paying X amount of dollars. And when you're paying X amount of dollars per month in tuition, the damn education better be on point. My kids better learn topics about the real world, like being a realtor and working in real estate and, you know, housing and, and all the real world stuff that they teach in a lot of private schools. They can afford to do that because they are heavily funded, okay? A lot of these public schools, they're not funded like that or they don't have the extra money or funding from the community to be able to allocate those types of classes and those types of things. And I think what DJ Envy said, you know, was kind of rude to a lot of teachers because there's a lot of teachers in public school in the hood. They are trying their best. They're trying to make it work with what they have. You know what I'm saying? So to say that they're not doing their due diligence or they're not as good as, you know what I'm saying? I think that's insulting to some teachers. And, you know, I also love how he made it a point to say, well, you know, even though my son is in private school, he plays football in Newark which is more considered the hood. And a lot of folks were saying, nah, keep that same energy. Don't have him playing in the hood against the hood kids when it comes to football, but then when it comes to his education, he's going to the white private school with all his neighbors. Nah, have him play football with the white private school kids. So, you know, a lot of folks were dragging DJ Envy for a lot of the comments that he made. So now another point I found funny is when Killer Mike said to DJ Envy, okay, fine, you went to college, you know, you went to the, the best elementary schools, you know, junior highs, whatever, and you literally are just a DJ. And you didn't have to go to college to become a DJ. And you could tell DJ Envy, whose name is DJ Envy, okay? That is your name, brah. He got offended. I'm not just a DJ. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm this and that. And like Mike broke it down to him, yes, 
At the end of the day, I'm just a rapper. That's what I do. I, I rap, sing, and dance for a living. There's nothing wrong with that. We're not diminishing what you do. What we're saying is that you don't need a, a stellar education to become a DJ or to become a rapper. And I definitely understood what Killer Mike meant with that. There's nothing wrong with being a DJ. There's nothing wrong with being a rapper. Hell, there's nothing wrong with being a YouTuber. People will always try and minimize certain things, but the point that he was getting at is that for all the education that he has, at the end of the day, you chose to become a DJ. And I do agree that a lot of schools private parochial or public they need to teach real world experiences all the stuff I learned going through school and high school they did not prepare me for the real world I know a few people know this I don't know if I really addressed this with the audience but you know throughout the school years you know I was sick and stuff like that so I kind of got behind on credits and I ended up going to night school to make up credits so that way I could graduate on time with my class and I did. So when I went to night school, I was one of the youngest people there because I was like a junior at the time. So most of the people who were in night school were older than me. They were like, you know, in their 20s. And I learned more in night school than I did my whole junior and senior year of high school. They taught me how to balance a checking account, how to write checks. You know what I'm saying? They taught me real world stuff. You know what I mean? Stuff that I was not learning during the day at school. So I think for me, it's not so much that private school is better. They have more funding to teach real world stuff. And public school, they only have so much funding. It doesn't make public school bad because at the end of the day, I did learn some things in public school but I did not learn things that could really benefit me in the real world. And I think that that's what needs to be taught in public schools is things that really affect kids, credit, finance, bills, moving out on your own. You know, when I did my credit series here on this channel, I was surprised at how many kids had no idea what credit was and what it meant to have credit and how did it benefit them. This is stuff they should be teaching children. I mean, electives are nice, you know, cooking class is nice and you know, knitting class is nice. If you wanna be a damn sweater knitter, at the end of the day, we all need real world experiences. We need things that prepare kids for the real world, regardless of what they choose to do in their life, be it being a DJ, you know what I'm saying, an entertainer, being a doctor, a lawyer. At the end of the day, all these professions require that once you make your money, you have bills to pay, possibly student loans, your light bill, your mortgage, your rent, and that's stuff that's not being taught in school. So I think this debate was definitely healthy. And at the end of it, you know, they definitely shook hands. They made up. DJ Envy also took to social media to further explain himself. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this. Go ahead and check that out. All right, so you guys just saw what DJ Envy posted. So like I said, at the end of the day, there's no bad blood between the two of them. They're still cool. But I like debates like this. I think they're healthy. And like I said, this video is not to shame DJ Envy because I'm not going to knock him. He makes good money. He can afford to, you know, give his kids the best. That's what most parents do. You don't want to see your kids struggle the way that you struggled. But let's not get to the point where now we're bougie and we're looking down on public schools because there's a lot of phenomenal teachers in public schools, but they're limited to what they can do. They're limited to the resources. I mean, it's to the point now in public school, the parents are paying for just as much stuff for the classroom. I mean, we're providing the teachers with Kleenexes and disinfectant wipes and, you know, all types of stuff that they need in their classroom that the schools are not funding for these teachers, you know? So there's a lot of blame to sprinkle around, but at the end of the day, like I said, I think this was a really good debate to have. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this entire situation concerning Killer Mike and DJ Envy. Whose side are you on? Are you team Killer Mike? Are you team DJ Envy? Do you understand where both these brothers are coming from? Or do you feel like DJ Envy is just bougie and he's so far removed from the damn hood he just doesn't get it? Or do you feel like, you know what? He's made his money. He's successful. Why not send his kids um, to a private school and let them have the best of the best? And then do you agree with me that public schools are not bad, but it's all about the funding. Like they just have lack of resources to really push that can really help the kids in those schools. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Miss Gay! 
Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.